Hi, I'm Angie, and this is my second video. I feel like there's lots of things I need to talk about, but this is what I'm being pushed to talk about next, and people are asking about it, I'm dreaming about it, so following the signs. And this is about getting through the pain of the journey. A lot of people will talk about the pain of the separation, the pain of the runner phase, the physical separation, which is really hard. I mean, that's a really hard part about it, but to me, the whole journey, there is pain. The pain, the pain is just part of it. That's what brings change. That's what's bringing you growth. That's what's pushing you to where you need to be to complete your mission to live your purpose is the pain part of it and it and there's a lot of it to me what helps the most is understanding and trust I mean understanding that what's happening to you what your what is going on why you know that you're not losing your mind that all these things that are happening to your body is for a reason that other people are, are going through what you are. I mean, it's helpful. And trust. Trusting in the journey. Trusting in the signs you receive. The people that come. Trusting to let go. You know? Isn't it funny that, that Disney comes out with, at this time period, you know, the movie, Let It Go. Let it go. I mean, that's all I heard. Let it go. And boy, did I let go of a lot. A lot of letting go. I'm still letting go. I've, I've thought about how to explain this, but I don't know how to explain it without kind of tuning into, tapping into some of the things that I went through. I only speak of things I've actually experienced or people that I work with in Twin Flames have, has experienced. And, you know, I get messages. I don't know. It's just, you know. Um, I didn't I didn't know what was, was going on with me. I didn't know uh, anything about Twin Flames, Kundalini Energy, Spiritual Awakening, any of that. Till about four years in. He had already been gone, run off, for a year and a half at this time. And I had been sick. For about a year and a half. I got sick when he, when he left. Now before this, he would go away for weeks or a few months or whatever, but this was the big one. A year and a half. And I did not put together that my sickness was had anything to do with this experience or him or anything. I was sick, so sick, that I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't raise my head. I couldn't eat, I was broke out in hives, I became allergic to everything, I couldn't go outside, I couldn't walk, I went to doctors, I went to hospitals over and over and over, nobody knew what was wrong with me. It was to the point to where it was like, okay, if I'm supposed, if I'm done, just let me, you know, just let me go. It was, it was really bad. And it was all for a reason. It was to make me more pure. I come to find out that it was um, Candida. That once, if those that don't know about Candida, it's a total change of your diet. It's no sugar, no bread, no dairy, you know, very little meat, no sugar down to only berries, no corn, no potatoes, no carrots. I mean, extreme. And, and a lot of detox, a lot of killing the yeast and putting good bacteria back in. It's really wicked. It is really wicked to go through and it's really a long process. But once I started doing that, I started to feel better. I started to be able, like it was accomplishment that I could walk 600 steps. That's how sick I was. But I was starting to, and that led me to becoming a naturopathic doctor. 
and that led me to the understanding that my adrenaline glands were at one. I was so, so sick from stress that my body was physically dying. My copper was at 20. I mean, that's when people jump out windows. And, and it was because the kundalini energy happened and I was not able to handle it. You are pushed into wakening, waking up from a twin flame interaction. Your, your third eye, I mean your whole, your DNA changes. Everything changes and if you're not ready to handle it, if it just happens, you're not ready to handle it, it can throw you for a loop. And that's exactly what happened to me. But it all happened for a reason. It happened to make me more more pure. It happened to make me more awake. It happened to where I, I see more to where I can help others. So I'm really, really sick. I'm still really sick. I was detoxing really hard when he showed up. He shows back up after a year and a half. And that's a whole nother story how that one happened, but he shows back up after a year and a half, and I'm, I'm still sick. I'm, I'm much better. You know, I'm able to walk and stuff, and I'm still really, really sick, and my hurt. Mm, my body hurt. And he touched me. That's how I'm going to word it. We didn't have sex. And I'll tell you why in another video, but he, um, we'll just say he touched me. And when he touched me, it was like, whoosh. It was like the start of an acid trip, if anybody's done that. Um, it was like you walk outside and everything's brighter. It's the most beautiful, just so beautiful. And all you feel is love and peace and nothing hurt at all. And it's like you're in another world. And it's a very happy world. I mean, it was tripped out. And it lasted about three days. And people are even asking, they're like, are you okay, Angie? And I looked like I aged 50 years. I mean, it was like just body shock. It was insane. Like, it was crazy. So, after three days, and that started to balance out, I, you know, come to back to earth. <laughs> It was like, what happened to me? So, you know, I'm starting to fit together. It's like, okay, you know, he has something to do with this. I'm not hurting. I'm not feeling sick all from this touch. I go on this weird trip, all natural trip, um, you know. And the only thing that I knew was that I felt him differently than I felt anybody else. I felt him in my belly button like in my stomach and I would tell him you know I'd be like it's like I feel you in my soul you know and we'd always say it is what it is it is what it is but what is it you know neither one of us knew what the heck was going on so I started researching the only thing I had to go on was so love you know feel it in your stomach most people will say that they feel their twin flame in their heart. Of course you feel it in your heart. But I felt it in my sacral charka, which is all about emotions. But anyway, so that experience, so I go from, you know, definitely ill to becoming more pure, to becoming, he touched me, to becoming awake, to start, you know, going through a spiritual awakening. And I start looking, and that leads me to Twin Flames. And I had done been through so much, and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like fit into a T of what what I've went through and what's going on. I'm Twin Flame. But it, by this point, I don't want to go through this no more. You know, I've done about died. I mean, I'm total heartbreak. I'm dealing... And the energy when he came back was is another video, but so insanely intense, like even more than it used to be. I mean, it was just 
I felt like I couldn't handle it no more. I couldn't handle going through this no more. I didn't want to. You know? So I'm looking for every way that I'm not in this twin flame relationship. But you realize that if you really are, there's no getting away from it. And you're just stuck there. So, but through understanding it, you know, and accepting and trusting, okay, this is what's happening. This is what I'm going through. And this is why, you know, I chose to do this. I'm stuck in this. Better make the most of it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm having psychic abilities. I'm feeling everything. Like, I go outside. I'm feeling everybody's feelings. They're, it's like people are talking to me. I don't hear them. I'm just feeling them. I'm feeling, like, I know what they're saying to me is total crap. I'm feeling what they're so saying to me. You know what I mean? It's just trippy. Talk about losing your mind. It's the middle of winter. And I'm running around in socks, barefoot, in the field because I need to ground to the earth. I am making a necklace for the mail lady to put in the mailbox for a Christmas present. And I'm crying over it because I feel so much love for the mail lady. I mean, and he's done gone off again. I mean, I, I feel like I'm absolutely losing my mind. But it all starts balancing out, and I, you know, I'm, I'm back to, okay, this is what this is, this is Twin Flames. This is all happening for a reason. And I start tuning in to, you know, how to make this better is to be able to go through what I need to, shed what I need to, grow, and live my purpose. So the only thing I know to do is to follow the signs. So I wake up every day and I'm looking for what do I need to do, you know, what, what, you know. I tell you one thing, like I would try to do my other job and I would always get pulled right back into the sew work. You know, or I would try to block it and be normal, you know, block all the, the, the feelings, the the things out of the psychic and being normal, but I'm no matter what, I'm pulled back into this. There's no getting away from it. So once you accept it and start looking deeply, you know, to what you're supposed to do next, things start balancing. And you're you start to be able to deal with it better. And you start to see what your purpose is. And you're, you start to live your purpose and, I mean, everything just starts getting better. And you start trusting, you know? But it goes on and goes on and goes on and goes on and goes on. And the harder you fight it, the longer it lasts and the harder it is. Like, um, I had gave up all this toxic, like, I don't drink, I don't. Uh, right now, I don't drink, I have cut sugar, I don't smoke, I haven't had sex in 18 months, I mean, you're just so pushed to pure, but like, um, the non-smoking thing, that took me, I just quit smoking like three weeks ago, I fought a year trying not to smoke, it's just mental, it's like, mental, mental letting go all over the place. Letting go of fear. Letting go of trusting the process. Trusting you're not crazy. Trusting what your body, your soul, your higher spirits are telling you to do. Once you do that, it starts to get better. Trusting that you're on your own journey and they're on their own journey. That's a big one. It's okay that they're away from you. They're going through their own things. You're going through all these things. You're being pushed to clear. You're being pushed to do. You're being pushed to your purpose. So are they. You know? And you'll, you'll get to a point to where you realize that you can't be with them right now. The energy's, the energy's too intense. You're not at the point that you're healed enough, that you've had enough growth to handle their energy and your energy together. 
So you trust that it's okay to have the separation. You trust that they're on their journey, that they're going through the things they need to do to gain the growth they need to do to live their purpose while you're doing the same thing and eventually you'll be together and be able to accomplish your mission. So, hope you got all that and then, the, you know, understanding that it's okay, that what you're going through is okay, that it's all for a reason, trusting it, trusting the signs, letting go, and living your mission. Hope it helped. Hope the video helped. The next video I'm going to make is about the last about five weeks. I'm feeling a lot of pressure. There's a lot of movement going on. There's there's um where you're really feeling them strongly. That's what I'm going to talk about next. Like the um you feel them talking in your head, you know, like the telepathic thing, but in a different way. Anyway. If you have any questions, check me out at um, getting ready to do my website again, Healing Within Us. And you can email me at Art by Blossom. I'll put it underneath. I do readings and um, counseling with the Twin Flames. Talk to you soon.